Send those targets to the rubbish bin in the sky. Are you done? Wow. I wasn't really paying attention. Off of one mag, 16 seconds. Didn't even go through the whole mag either. Go! Send those targets to the rubbish bin in the sky. Are you done? Teen seconds. I wasn't this really is... paying attention. Again, with no aim assist. Let's turn the aim assist on. At negative nine, and let's Go! do it again. Send those targets to the rubbish bin in the sky. Are Fifteen seconds. I wasn't really paying attention. Let's try that again. Another 15 I wasn't seconds. Really paying attention. I'm gonna turn off aim assist real quick. All right, aim assist on at negative 10. Thirteen seconds. Holy I wasn't really shit! Paying attention. Go. Send those targets to the rubbish bin in the sky. Nice and tight. Got lucky there. That hindered me, but under twenty seconds, seventeen. I that's really good. I think that's my record for the ACR. Let's get into some matches, and that is how I warm up. I'll go over my settings right now that I'm com that I've been getting really, really comfortable with. You see me going up and down, and I'll probably change it in game too because obviously it's a lot different from the range. I'll go over my settings now, and then you'll probably see me adjust my settings while I'm in the game playing against real players with real movement. Right here, I play on standard. I have a scuff, so I have my face buttons on the back of my controller, so I can slide, jump, and aim, and shoot all at once. So again, aim assist is standard, aim assist strength. Uh, I practice with I practice with aim assist off, as you saw, and honestly, I think aim assist hinders your aim in this game uh, tremendously. So I play on the lowest of aim assist that you could possibly have with reverse S curve because this is what Call of Duty kind of uh, resembles and feels like with the uh, controls. Um, I play in a high sensitivities. I also have rings on my analog stick that um, kind of create a little resistance. So I play on a higher sensitivity so I can keep up with those good players. Uh, 0.8 and then for a sniper, I, haven't, I don't really snipe much, but when I did, I kind of played around about 0.55. Um, dead zone five that's where it's like barely sometimes getting stick drift but not really getting stick drift zero on the acceleration multiplier and everything else I turned my controller uh, vibration off and yeah that's that's my settings right now again you'll probably see me adjust them in game uh, so if you guys enjoyed this video 
be sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed share my content with somebody you might think will enjoy it let them know to like share comment and subscribe as well hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video hope you guys have a good day good night and a good morning or wherever you're at i'll see you in the next one we're gonna use the p90 get the capture zone follow it around i mean really stalk that thing Talking out your differences? Capture zone at risk! Go for the base! Thanks, Spider-Bot. Capturing zone! Not the prettiest aim right there, but it worked. Capture zone is changing location. Zone imperiled. No, that's how I go out with the no Capture. audio. Come up on me, I'm back. Ain't, uh, ain't one. No frick. Capturing. Thank you, teammate. Capture zone. Magic. Nope. Zone in jeopardy. Somebody finish that. God. Can get there quick enough. Capturing. I miss. I miss. Zone in jeopardy. Capture zone is changing That's what should have happened the first time. Ever try talking out your differences? Zone in capture zone is changing location. Capturing. Vicious circle of vengeance. Capturing zone. Zone imperiled. Zone at risk. Zone moving elsewhere. Cap 
capturing. Capture is ready to go. Capture zone is on the move. Need a dock here. Oh, you got lucky, boy. Had him in the first half. Struggled with him in the second half. Came back at the end. I like that gameplay. I love the P90. 1531 definitely came back towards the end there. Not a bad game. GG's. Not a bad game.